Hello there, YouTube fans. Uh, I'm back, and I got another little tutorial hack for the Xbox One, PS, PC, and even your 360. So, what uh, I've got proposed for you is it's not a complicated setup, but it is a complicated setup depending on what you're doing. So, for, there's a lot of people out there who can't, who are budget YouTubers, like me, and you have like no money. So you can't afford like, you know, the Elgato 360 or the Aver Media or the whatever one that starts with an H with the screen to hook up to your Xbox and record 1080p gameplay. Well, I've got a solution for that. What you're going to need is a Windows 10 computer. It has to have Windows 10, can't be Windows 8 or before. It must be Windows 10 PC. An Xbox controller, a micro USB port, and an Xbox One, of course. And you also must, they must be all hooked up on the same Wi-Fi. So I don't know if a lot of people you know that you can stream your Xbox One to your PC using the Xbox app, which comes preloaded on your Windows 10. See, right here, my Xbox app. Go away. Okay. So let's load up the Xbox app and show you how it's done. This will allow you to do 1080p recordings of your Xbox, even on a lower rate PC. Like, my p computer isn't the best computer, and I can't to do 1080p gameplay on my computer if the computer's running the game and I'm also recording. It doesn't work. It's just awful. But this, you can record the Xbox One at 1080p. And you don't lose, like, any frames or anything. Like, it's completely good. And you could also stream like this, but I... It's a little bit harder. Because you gotta realize what you're doing is you're streaming over your Wi-Fi. You're streaming your Xbox One to your computer over the Wi-Fi. So, uh, we got my Xbox here, click on it to stream, it's going to connect, like this. If you look at this, I have 1080p, it's it's completely perfect, and I have my controller, you have to hook your controller up to your PC via USB, micro USB, which is pretty easy, I have one here, that's what I'm using, I have my Xbox One controller, and as you can see, I have like no frame drops or anything, and it's recording crystal clear Xbox One, and I'm going to tell you, it's actually really good quality so we're gonna get in here and I'm gonna show you gameplay and I'll show you how you have perfect 1080p quality so I was telling you before about how you know if you're gonna stream and do this uh, if you're gonna stream into your 360 and play online, that's gonna be pretty taxing, so you're gonna have to have pretty good Wi Fi. See, all I'm doing right now is using my Wi Fi to stream the Xbox to the PC, and then I'm just recording it using a game recorder. I'm using XSplit, which is a broadcaster, but it can also record regular games. And all it's basically doing is recording this video on your screen, and it does not take that much CPU or RAM in your computer, so you can record perfect without having any hardware issues. Oh, it's pretty loud. Oh well. Uh, let's skip this. So we'll get in here and we'll do a little gaming and I'll show you how. I'm going to tell you, this, the reaction time on this is beautiful. You don't have to worry about any slight lag in there. It's like perfect. So uh, let's do a, do some survival. Uh, we're going to go to Endor. I like Endor. Endor is nice. Uh, solo play. I'm just going to show you how it's going. I mean, you can look. This is nice clear quality I know and I've I just figured this out not that long ago I'm sure a lot of people have so whatever and you can also do this with your 360 what you're gonna do is um, you need to hook your 360 up to your Xbox one and you basically go to the TV tab and that'll kind of turn the volume down on this uh, I don't know hopefully my voice will be loud enough and it's just because I have my mic headset and stuff so I'm gonna turn that down hopefully it just I, it blah, whatever but as I was saying, you hook your 360 up to your one, and you go to the TV app, which is where you'd hook your direct TV box or dish box to watch TV, and you play your Xbox 360 to that. But you'd still have to use the 360 controller, so it might not necessarily work, if now that I think about that. I skip this. So we're playing survival, I'm going to show you how... What I did notice is I had to turn up the sensitivity because it was a little less sensitive. If you look at this, I can turn whatever and you don't get any like pixelation at all. I mean, I think a couple times pixelates like that, you saw that little there. Oop. See, you get a little lag there because you know you are using your Wi-Fi, and I'm report getting this pretty high quality. For the most part, it's good. Like you know, I 
right, let's get in here. Plane survival. And this is pretty cheap way. If you have a Windows 10 computer and an Xbox One and decent Wi-Fi, you should be able to do this. Let's see here. They're coming this way. I hear him. Just lining up. Lining up for me. I mean, you get some, like, you know, lag. I think right now, quality's still pretty good right now, but you get a little bit of pixelation. But, I mean, it's nothing you don't get from, you know, regular YouTubers. For some reason, man, of Wi-Fi is being fast, but it's not that bad. I mean, for the most part, this is 1080p quality. And it's it's a good starting thing if you have, like, you know, like, no why, no money. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, I'm gonna die. I you see my. I'm just. Everything's performing top quality. You don't have to, like, worry about it. anything. Disrupt. Ah, shut your balls. So, that works like that, and. Basically, record any of your games very simply. So, that's my hack on how you can record 1080p gameplay of your Xbox One. Uh, this might be. No, this one works PS4 because PS4 doesn't have this thing. And if you are on a budget and you can't afford, like, the Elgato or whatever other preferable game recorder you can have. So, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.